Monday Foxes. Welcome back. Fresh new trimester two. We are in November, my favorite month, and we're back. So let's see what's going on this week. All right. Well, to start, we are in November. So our word for this month is citizenship. And that is when each individual takes personal responsibility to be good to one another for the greater good. You can do this by sharing, cooperating, and being helpful, looking out for the earth, being informed, and also being respectful of others and looking out for one another. And our strategy this month is to say, excuse me. So if you see people talking and you need to say something, make sure you use the words, excuse me. All right, we do have a fire drill this week on Thursday at two o'clock. Uh, remember that following directions and listening are important to our drills and these help us practice in case a real event happened. So we do have that fire drill this week. All right, we also have a minimum day this week on Wednesday. So make sure to parent, let your parents know that you will be released at 1.30. All right, it is patriotic week because we are on the countdown to Veterans Day, which will be next Monday. So we will have a holiday next Monday. So for this Monday today, you should hopefully be wearing camo. Tomorrow, Tuesday, wear your blue and gold uh, to support the Air Force. Wednesday, we're going to support the Marines, wear red and gold. Thursday, we're going to support, support the Coast Guard, wear blue and white. And Friday, we're going to honor our Veterans Day wearing red, white, and blue. So get that American kind of stuff out. All right, we are on a 14-day attendance challenge. So students have perfect attendance between 11.4 and 11.22, and you will be automatically entered to win a $25 Amazon gift shopping cart. Uh, there's going to be three winners per grade level in K-5. Um, so let's get to school every day this month because it's a short month, and then we have the Thanksgiving break. All right, it is a new month, so there is an executive board meeting with Mrs. Cecil. Uh, the thing says October 1st. Sorry, Mrs. Spillman didn't change the date. It is actually tomorrow, November 5th. All right, and this Thursday, we'll have a student council meeting for all class representatives in the library at 8 a.m. All right, Ruby Bridges Walk event is coming. It is not this week, but it is the next week. It is on the 14th. And again, we will be honoring Ruby Bridges with our walk event. I'm so excited. And we wear my favorite color, purple. Uh, but I am looking for someone to sing the national anthem that day. You will be singing in front of the whole school. So if you are interested, come to the office to see me, Mrs. Spillman, and you can have a little tryout and we will pick the person that will sing the national anthem. But remember, you will be singing in front of the whole school. So make sure you are ready for that. All right, our activities for the week with Miss Brenda. It is November 4th through the 8th. So first through third grade, we'll have zip line football. And fourth and fifth grade, you guys will have ping pong. I love ping pong. It's so fun. All right, just a reminder, volleyball is for third through fifth grade students only. Make sure to be safe and get out along out there on the volleyball court. No rough play. Uh, just a quick reminder, I'm going to go through lots of reminders because we're back in a new fresh trimester. So I want to make sure you remember everything that we ask of you, which is smartwatches as well. They are not to be at school. Make sure they are off and in your backpack or left at home. All right, we have had some issues with people and their slap bracelets and prizes. So leave slap bracelets at home. And if you win prizes at school, because we know you love your prizes, take them home and keep them at home, okay? All right, basketball and so soccer reminder that if you're playing too rough on the basketball court, volleyball court, or soccer field, you'll lose the privilege to play these sports. Rough play leads to injuries. Let's just have fun. And we're getting close to our March Madness, so I know a lot of you are going to be wanting to practice that basketball, which is great, but you need to not be so rough with each other. All right, playground equipment does not belong on the tables. If you are getting equipment from the Fox Box, make sure that you are using it properly. And remember to pick up all equipment when the bell rings. And I want to thank you if you aren't even playing with equipment, but as you're walking to class, you pick something up and put it away. Thank you for doing that. That is a great citizen here of Farmdale. All right, there should be no games being played on the playground and that involve hitting, tagging, or pushing. Remember, we need to keep our hands and feet to ourselves. By doing this, all of our foxes will be safe. And a quick reminder, if it does not belong to you, leave it alone. So, But also, if you don't want other people to take it, don't bring it to school. So if that backpack does not belong to you, you should not be in it. And if there's something that you really care about, leave it at home. 
All right, and a quick reminder, no food on the playground. Anything you bring needs to be finished in the cafeteria. Any drinks, chips, or whatever need to be just for you. You are not, they are not here to share. So only bring things that you can finish during lunch. A uh, quick reminder of the Crocs, they need to be in sport mode on, at school or you will lose the privilege. And if you have PE, you need to have your tennis shoes. All right, we have not set the new Live the Creed goal. We will let you know next week what that is. But today is the first day of trimester two, so we are starting to rack up those certificates again. So make sure you are following the Creed and doing the things that you need to do. All right, for first trimester... Uh, we all made growth. We were all in the 90s. Actually, every grade level was 95 or above. Great job. I think Farmdale has the best attendance in the district, so you guys are awesome. Uh, but the winner is fifth grade. So this Friday at 2 o'clock, we will be having a little something for you guys. We'll have some popsicles and a free recess. And we're starting over again today. So we will start tracking it weekly, and let's see who wins for the next trimester. Ooh, it's already time for our kindness ticket winners. Okay. And after this one, I'm going to toss all of these because we're starting a new trimester. So next week might have a, not very many and it might be an easy chance to win. Our first winner is Serenity L from Mrs. Newville's class for being kind. Great job, Serenity. Next up, we have Ariel J from Mrs. Zhang's class for being responsible. Great job, Ariel. All right, next up, we have Camila S from Mrs. Van Cleve's class for being responsible, being respectful, and being kind. Love to see that. We have Rita from Miss A. Chow's class for being responsible, respectful, and kind. And our final winner for this week is going to be Sophia from Mrs. Vu's class for being responsible. Congratulations to Serenity, Ariel, Camila, Rita, and Sophia for winning this week. I will be dumping this box, so next week we'll start, this next week we'll start fresh. So like I said, uh, next week when Mrs. V does the video, it might be less tickets in here and a better chance to win. So make sure you're doing things uh, to earn your kindness tickets. But remember, don't ask for kindness tickets. They're earned by just doing things that you should and someone catching you. All right, our quote of the week as we are in autumn, which is Mrs. Spillman's favorite time of the year. Autumn leaves don't fall, they fly. They take their time and wander on this, their only chance to soar. So as we watch the leaves fall, they're not falling, they're flying. So enjoy that. All right, birthday books. I have all the birthdays from went from October 21st all the way through this week. So if you see your name, make sure you stop by the library to get that birthday book. If your birthday was in October, I do hope you had a great birthday. And if your birthday is this week, happy birthday. All right, everyone. So I want you to have a great week. I'm so excited to be back. And let's get those foxes up. To be a fox, repeat in your mind. Be safe, be responsible, respectful, and kind. Have a great week. Bye.